Hello. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss logarithms. Before we continue, please visit my channel for more math lessons and tutorials. Thank you. Writing logarithmic equations as exponential equations, and vice versa. This is how we will write logarithmic and exponential equations. We will read a logarithmic equation as log base a of n equals m. Using this property, we can rewrite logarithmic equations as exponential equations, and vice versa. 2 raised to 5 equals 32. This is log base 2 of 32 equals 5. Log base 7 of 49 equals 2. This is 7 squared equals 49. 10 raised to negative 2 equals 0.01. This is log base 10 of 0.01 equals negative 2. Log base 5 of 1 over 5 equals negative 1. This is 5 raised to negative 1 equals 1 over 5. Writing expressions as a single logarithm. Here, we need to know some of the laws of logarithms. For any base, a, where a is not equal to 1, and a is greater than 0. We will use these laws in our examples. In common logarithms, the base is 10. If the base of the logarithm was not indicated, it is automatic that the base is 10. The logarithm in base 10 of a positive number is the exponent when the number is written as a power of 10. Log 10 equals 1. Log 100 equals 2. Log 1000 equals 3. Log 10,000 equals 4. Also, log 0.1 equals negative 1. Log 0.01 equals negative 2 log 0.001 equals negative 3 log 0.0001 equals negative 4 we can also derive other rules for logarithms we have here an example log m equals log n we first transpose the log n to the left side of the equation then we write it as a single logarithm according to the laws of logarithms if we are subtracting logarithms we need to divide m by n. Next, we write it as an exponential equation. Also, 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Since, m over n equals 1, we can say then m equals n, if the logarithm of m equals the logarithm of n. Write as a single logarithm or as an integer. Let's try log 8 plus log 3. Since we are adding logarithms, we need to multiply 8 times 3. So, in a single logarithm, this is log 24. Next, let's try log 40 minus log 5. Since we are subtracting logarithms, we need to divide 40 by 5. So, in a single logarithm, this is log 8. Let's try another example, log base 4 of 8, minus log base 4 of 2. Since we are subtracting logarithms, we need to divide 8 by 2, that would be equal to 4. And then, this becomes log base 4 of 4. If we will simplify, this is equal to 1. Let's try another example, log base 3 of 6, minus log base 3 of 2, minus log base 3 of 3. We can combine the first and second terms into a single logarithm, this becomes log base 3 of 6 over 2. Then, we can simplify log base 3 of 3, minus log base 3 of 3, and this becomes 0. Let's try another example, 1 half times log base 6 of 4, plus log base 6 of 3. The 1 half in the first term becomes the exponent of 4. And then, we can simplify this. Simplifying further, we can get log base 6 of 6, and this is equal to 1. Let's try another example, 3 minus log 2, minus 2 times log 5. We can write 3 as 3 log 10, since log 10 is equal to 1. And then, we can rewrite this as a single logarithm. 
Simplifying further, we can get log base 10 of 20. Now, simplify the following without using a calculator. Log 9 over log 3. This is equal to log 3 squared over log 3. Then, we can put the exponent in front of log 3, and then cancel out the log 3 in the numerator and the denominator. So this is equal to 2. Next, log base 5 of 27, over log base 5 of 9. This is equal to log base 5 of 3 cubed, over log base 5 of 3 squared. Then, we can put the exponent of 3 in front of the logarithms, and then cancel out the log base 5 of 3 in the numerator and the denominator. So this is equal to 3 over 2. Let's try another example, log base 4 of 8, over log base 4 of 0.25. In the numerator, we can have log base 4 of 4 times 2, and in the denominator, we can have log base 4 of 1 fourth. Simplifying the numerator, we can have log base 4 of 4, plus log base 4 of 2. And in the denominator, we can have log base 4 of 4, raised to negative 1, this makes the denominator equal to negative 1. While the numerator becomes, 1 plus log base 4 of 4, raised to 1 half. Simplifying further, this becomes negative 1 minus 1 half. And this is equal to negative 3 over 2. In our next example, we need to write the logarithmic expression in terms of x, y and z. We can use the laws of logarithms to expand the expression. And then, square root of 3 becomes 3 raised to 1 half. Then, we can write the exponent of 3 in front of the logarithm. We now have, z plus 1 half of y, minus x. In our next example, we need to write the equation below without logarithms. We can use the laws of logarithms in writing the right side into a single logarithm. And then, remember, if log m is equal to log n, then m is equal to n. Therefore, b is equal to m cubed, over n squared. In our next example, we need to solve for x. We have, log base 3 of 81, raised to x, is equal to 16. We can write this as an exponential equation. And then, rewrite 81 as 3 raised to 4. If the bases of both sides are equal, then the exponents have to be the same. So, 4x is equal to 16. Then, dividing both sides by 4, we can get x equals 4. Let's try another example. We have, log base 5 of 125, minus log base 5 of square root of 5, equals log base 5 of x. We can write the left side as a single logarithm. And then, x will be equal to 5 cubed, over the square root of 5. And, we need to rationalize the denominator. This will give us, 5 squared times the square root of 5. And this is equal to 25 times the square root of 5. Let's try another example. First, we need to combine the left side as a single logarithm. And then, we can rewrite this without the logarithms. Multiplying both sides by x minus 2, we can get, x plus 2 equals 5x minus 10. Simplifying, this will give us 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by 4, we can get, x equals 3. Let's try another example. Here, we can put the exponent of x in front of the logarithm. And then, equate it to 0. We now have an equation that resembles a quadratic equation. Solving this using factoring, we can get, 0 equals log x, times log x minus 2. We can equate each factor to 0. Solving log x equals 0, we can get, x equals 1. And, solving log x minus 2 equals 0, we can get, x equals 100. Let's try another example. Here, 
we can write the left side as a single logarithm. And then, we can rewrite this without the logarithms. After that, equate it to zero. We now need to solve the quadratic equation. Using factoring, this will give us x equals 7, and x equals negative 2. If we get a solution which is negative, it would be wise to check for extraneous solutions. So, if we substitute negative 2 to the original equation, we will have a logarithm of a negative number. This is undefined if x equals negative 2. And, if we substitute 7 to the original equation, it makes the equation true. So the only answer is x equals 7. Natural logarithms. ln a is equal to log base e of a, where a is greater than 0. So whenever you see an expression for natural logarithm, think of it as log base e. In our next example, without a calculator, we need to find ln e squared. We can put the exponent of e in front of the natural logarithm. Since, ln is equal to log base e, this will be equal to 2. In our next example, we need to solve for x. ln of log x, equals 1. We can write ln as log base e. And then, write this as an exponential equation with the base e. Next, we still have a logarithmic equation which can be written into an exponential equation, this time with the base 10. So, x equals 10 raised to the constant e. Let's try another example. We have here a logarithmic equation that resembles a quadratic equation. Here, we can write the quadratic in factored form, the quantity ln x plus 2, times the quantity ln x minus 1, equals 0. Solving the ln x plus 2 equals 0, we can get ln x equals negative 2. Simplifying, this will be x equals 1, over the square of the constant e. And, solving the ln x minus 1 equals 0, we can get ln x equals 1. Simplifying, this will be x equals the constant e. Change of base. If we have, log base b of a, this can be written as, log base c of a, over log base c of b. This is for all a, b and c greater than 0, and c is not equal to 1. This allows us to change the base of a given logarithm, as long as we use the same base for the numerator and the denominator. Let's have an example. Here, we have an exponential equation that resembles a quadratic equation, if we will write 25 raised to x as the square of 5 raised to x. If we write this in factored form, we can have this. And then, equate each factor to 0. 5 raised to x equals 0 is undefined. And, 5 raised to x minus 3, equals 0, will become 5 raised to x equals 3. In logarithmic equation this will be, log base 5 of 3, equals x. Using the change of base, this will be, x equals the logarithm of 3, over the logarithm of 5. Let's try another example. Here, we can use the change of base for the two terms on the left side of the equation. And then, write the exponent of x in front of the logarithm, and rewrite the square root of x. Next, we can write log of 4 in the denominator of the first term as, 2 log of 2, and simplify the second term. Now that we have the same denominators for the terms on the left side, we can combine those terms together into a single fraction. And then, we can multiply both sides by log of 2. Next, we can divide both sides by 2. Next, we can write the 5 in front of the logarithm as an exponent of 2. Next, we can write this without logarithms. So, x equals 32. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.